Okay, in this video we're going to start moving on to um, looking at how pressure changes with depth. Okay, pressure changes in a fluid as you uh, go deeper or yeah, depth, that's the idea. Okay, so uh, if you consider say a container like this with some kind of liquid in it and the top is just open to atmospheric pressure then um, what is actually causing the pressure in this fluid? Well, the answer is gravity. Gravity is the, the, the thing that's causing the pressure. So if you consider, I'm going to draw maybe another thing over here. There, there's your container with liquid in. So just as a basic idea, if you've got, say, if you just imagine you've got, say, layers in this fluid, then you can imagine gravity is pulling down this layer, right? Pulling it down, and it's causing a pressure on top of this layer. And then these two layers are causing a pressure on top of that layer. So gravity, gravity is the phenomenon that is... Um, causing this pressure that's inside uh, the the liquid okay so let's look more at this example over here here again we have um, a volume of fluid got a piston at the bottom a piston at the top and um, our assumption is that there's no there's no force right there's there's nothing we assume that this piston has no mass and so what is causing this um, column of water to be um, static, right? Static, so that its acceleration is zero. Well, we know first of all that gravity wants to pull it down. Okay, so if we do the free body diagram of that column of water, right? So there's the center of mass of this column of water. We know that the force of the piston up onto the water must match the force of gravity down. Okay? So, the pressure at the top over here is zero, right? Because we just, our assumption, actually they, they mention it down here at the bottom. As we shall see later, the atmosphere, okay, so the atmosphere at the top of that, by that, that piston, on the top piston, the atmosphere exerts a force on each piston, but the combined effect of these two forces is negligible. Again, for simplicity, we also ignore the mass of the pistons, which means that there is no gravitational force exerted on them, and so the top piston exerts no force on the water. Okay, so negligible. So the assumption here is that there is negligible force acting down at the top, but the pressure at the bottom is non-zero. So the point is that there's a change in pressure between the top and the bottom. Okay. So a further description of this is imagine taking that container, dividing it into a top half okay, and a bottom half. And we draw a free body diagram of the top half. There's the, the top half, right? Okay. And what are the forces acting on this top half? Well, we've got the force of the bottom acting on the top, and that's upwards, right? And then we've also got the force of gravity pulling it down. And because it's uh, static, the acceleration is zero, right? So the, the force, um, these two forces are, are obviously equal. But now let's look at, if we do a free body diagram of the bottom half. The bottom half says, I've got a force of, of the container acting on the bottom. <clears throat> but now it's got to balance two forces. The first is the force of the top half on the bottom. And the force of gravity <clears throat> of the bottom down. So the point is this. This force of the bottom onto the, onto the top is smaller 
than the force of the container onto the bottom. So, so this shows us that as you keep going down, these upward forces that are needed to withstand um, the top, the top forces, the, the downward forces, it increases. Okay, so it says here pressure increases with distance <coughs> below the surface because liquid layers at the top press down on lower layers of liquid. Okay. Okay, so uh, perhaps in the next one we'll go through this, uh, this, this question over here. So w what is our conclusion here? <clears throat> is that pressure in a liquid at rest in a container decreases linearly with height. Okay, so if here's a container, the pressure would be highest at the bottom and decrease linearly with height. Okay, so pressure over here would be the minimum and pressure at the bottom would be uh, maximum. So without going into too much more detail, this is for a liquid, okay? It decreases linearly or it increases linearly as you go down, as you increase the depth. And so it's a linear relationship. Whereas with gas... <clears throat> the pressure with height, the decrease in pressure with height is not linear. Okay, so I want you to take that away. The decrease in height uh, is not a linear relationship. Okay. <clears throat>